Hi beautiful Sagittarians! Welcome back to the channel everybody. If you're new here I welcome you. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's find out. I've got um, these mystical shaman oracles I felt led to use for Sagittarian. What about Sag? What are the messages for Sagittarius? Messages please for Sagittarius. Beautiful Sagis, what does the universe want to reveal to Sagittarius? What about Sag? Angelic assistance, divine guidance, and loving support. You're guided, but you've got angelic assistance here. And some of you may be in a position where you offer angelic assistance. What about Sag? What about Sag? Earth magic, fearlessness, removing obstacles. Huh. So it's almost like divine intervention here. What's going on here? Death and rebirth. Darkness to light. So something is uh, rebirthing here. Opening heart. Deep connections. Water blessings. Whoa. Shamanic journey. Purpose. Attunement. Vision quest. And maybe a lot of you have gone on this quest. This is soul searching. Hmm. Not interesting. Summoning power, instinct, intellect. Wow. Taking your control back. This is, the universe is all over this. Read, boy. Stepping into, or set, what did I say that for? Setting boundaries, threshold protection, and honor. Healing the heart, power of self-love. It is your journey, Saj. You have learned to set up boundaries. You have learned to love yourself. You're being rebirthed. You've got angelic uh, protection here, removing all obstacles. Now, I'm going to ask this question. What about, I, I never do this, um, but I feel led to do it. I want to ask about your person. What is going on with Saji's person, past person, new or old? Take it as it resonates. Watchers here. Why am I saying that? It's miracles. Ancient wisdom. Saji's person has a sacred purpose. It's an ancestral legacy. Now the Divine Mother is here, and this has come for your person before. The card came out, the Mother Prays. And this person... Hang on. Saji's person, Saji's person. The one that is on Sagittarian's mind. The one that is on Sagittarian's mind. Messages for the person that is on Sagittarian's mind. You. The Divine Feminine. It's a purpose. Um... <sighs> They see you as like 
a divine being, the, the, the divine feminine. I asked what is on Sagittarian's uh, person's mind. It is you. The miracles, it's like it tried to come in reverse. So this person might be praying for some sort of miracle to occur. It has a sacred purpose. They know you're the divine femme. Even if they don't know the terminology, they could be... They could be clairvoyant. Trying to interpret something or they see you as clairvoyant. Many of you are, especially if you are the Divine Feminine or, or possess that energy. <laughs> There's an adjustment here looking back, but you're moving forward. That's how they see you. They're ready to take some kind of sacred action toward you. Okay, this is pretty plain, pretty simple, and pretty straightforward here. They know who you are, Saj. They see you as this divine feminine energy. They see you moving forward, but they're hoping you're going to look back. It's this card of... You are moving forward, Satch, but they are totally hoping you're looking back at them, like still looking back. It's almost saying like, don't forget me. It has a sacred purpose. Oh. And you probably are, Saj. You are moving forward, but your soul's looking back. Checking out the rear view mirror, I'm hearing. And many of you are. Like, are you catching up? Are you catching up? You're moving forward, but you are looking back at this person. And at least they're hoping you are. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And even if this is new love, this person sees you as divine. <laughs> yeah. There's this, I told you, there is this valiant courage. Yep. Decisive, focus, driven. Events that are moving forward with great speed. This is their energy, guys. They're getting a lot of insight, um, butterflies all around this person. So, ego, the illusion of being trapped. That's how this make a choice. 
they could be breaking free of some kind of unhealthy habit and that habit could very well be they're breaking free of their ego i don't know what's this all about you've learned to stand your ground they know that they need to step up and get wise counsel this is about them they got to break free of their ego stand up for themselves and get wise counsel here and maybe they are getting some kind of counsel it's been coming up in too many reads yeah they're only in the illusion meant of entrapment here's the star oh cheesy have faith the future is bright the star they're hoping but see these they ignore this stuff guys it's like that indecisive behavior but it's like either unwilling or unable to make a choice they feel but it's a self imposed prison that this person is in they're free to do whatever they want to do they're failing to recognize a magical opportunity they're missing the point they're being told to wake up this angel standing behind them telling them to wake up and maybe it's them who keep looking back at the past. And it's almost as if they could be wanting to come toward you to smooth things out. I don't know. They the good comes back to you, an uh, unexpected inflow of abundance. So this is you moving on. They're ignoring something, so you have no choice but to move on. And the good that hey, you have put out is coming back to you. This is all verifying this divine feminine energy. And Tell me about the Four of uh, Cups here. What about the Four of Cups? Very passionate, very confident, charismatic, restless. Romantic, flirtatious, fickle. Falling in love. Hmm. And it's like they want this victory with you. They want to come in and romance you. And it's almost as if there's so much to celebrate. You're getting all this prosperity. And it says, send gratitude to the divine and to the angels for the peace and prosperity that's been coming to you contentment in your personal life this whatever situation you're ending this is the ten of swords this painful ending is bringing you in a bunch of abundance but it's more than that it's like a new opportunity. There is new love here for Sagittarian. I'm just saying that there is. There's a reason to celebrate. See, I think that that's what this person wants. I do indeed. What does this person want from Sagittarius? What are their hopes? 
between uh, Sagittarius and their person. The sun. Happiness. Having epiphanies. The chariot. Public recognition. They want to come in and have uh, happiness. With, I ask, what is this person expecting from Saj? And it is to move toward you. Public recognition. They want to do something publicly. They want to honor you publicly somehow. And even if you're not entertaining a past person, this is your new person. And with no persons, this is your own personal victory, success. But I specifically ask, what does this person want of Sag? It is to uh, celebrate with you, which is the Four of Wands. To move toward you and be happy with you. They want to be happy with you. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing in on career, a divorced or unmarried individual. If they don't come correct, you're not allowing them back in. And it is that simple. You're focused in on your own happiness, your own success, your own growth, and you are getting it with or without anybody. But I can tell you when I ask what they wanted, they want to come toward you. They see you as their yin to their yang. They want positive forward movement with you. They see happiness with you, a celebration, which could be the marriage card or twin flame. Take it as it resonates. But they know you're their happiness. Okay? Yeah, the two of cuppers here. Falling in love. And here is, there is love. Mutual love here. Look at this. King and queen of cups with the two of cups in between. They were, okay, they're the nine of swords. This is saying... They made it happen. Their worst nightmare, they made happen by losing you. It's like it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. Again, that comes out for you. So they made their worst fear come true because they were like trapped in their mind. It was an illusion that they were believing somehow. And it's like... They made it happen by their own thoughts. Sagittarius and the person that Sag is inquiring about. The reason Sag... So whether you look at the past person or not, the new love that's entering your life, and there is, it's like... This is mutual love, and it's like, it's whatever this person is telling themselves, the reasons why they can't be with Saj versus the reasons why they should be able to make it, this situation happen with Saj, and it's like, this person sits here with negative thinking. I'm sorry, they do. They're like, oh, I can't make that happen. Oh, Sag will not love me. 
um, Sag this, Sag that. They're fulfilling their worst nightmare. It is their negative thinking that is keeping this person from taking action. It, it is a self-fulfilling prophecy for this person. They can make it happen. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. If they have, they're angry at, um, I'm just saying this person, if they were telling a bunch of lies, they're angry at some kind of lies that if there is a baby mama energy around them, they're now angry because they're uncovering something. And it's like, they could be moving on to their wish fulfillment, their soulmate. They're angry that you have moved on. Who are they angry at? The shiny toy. Who they went to, that's who they're angry at. Yesterday's read said that they were in self-pity mode and the blame game. Well, they are. They're angry at the shiny toy for some sort of lies. Probably that they said about you, Saj, or some kind of lie. They're feeling manipulated and lied to. They were mind-fucked, I'm hearing. And they're, that's who they're angry at. Uh, something to do with... Uh, hmm. Yeah. Some kind of blockage or that... That's what made things stuck and so difficult is this energy. And they're looking at you with a lot of attraction towards you and passion towards you. That's how they see you, Saj. And they are in self-pity mode. They are missing Saj. They're sitting here probably like, uh, the angels are around and this angel card is saying it again that it has a higher purpose and they're angry that you did move on. They're missing you. They could have left you out in the cold due to whatever lies that this other energy told them. That's who they're angry at. You're highly intuitive. You probably sense that this person was juggling, but right now they're financially unstable. They're like, they've got a lot on their plate. And here is wanting to communicate. There is that celebration card with you. They want to communicate and celebrate with you. This is twin flame. This is solid home. They may want to come home and celebrate. I don't know. They just, I'm saying they do. They're in their emotions. Okay. About the past. What can I say? This, you know, this can't all be fake here, guys. It's coming out daily, different t decks of tarot cards. I try to have a variety. It's still coming out. They're reminiscing about the past. 
they are fondly mesmerized with you. They know you've moved forward, but they're hoping you're looking back. Because the truth is, they hold you in honor and respect. They want a victory. You're their happiness. Now, look, they deceive themselves uh, of their own happiness. When they messed with you, Sag, they messed with their own happiness. And they could be strategically trying to plan how they're going to get this happiness and victory with you. Yeah, strategic plan. Because you're their empress. They want to co-create with the past person. They see you as this divine feminine. How strong you are. They want to come back around. And that's just the way that the cards are reading, guys. I can't help what comes out. And they know oh, it's going to be your decision. Because, yeah, you may not accept their offer because they broke your heart. I think that they want to tell you that this is weighing heavily upon them and perhaps they were in the past bringing you too much on your plate. They were weighing you down and it's like you wanted to be happy and it's like this person kept burdening you or they were handing you their baggage with their family situation, with their whatever's going on. It's becoming a burden here. Okay. Yeah. And it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. There's that fear. They fulfilled their own prophecy. So whatever they told themselves... Oh, Sag will be happier without me, or I can't do this because of my family, or I can't do this, I can't do that. They fulfilled their own prophecy. You did move forward. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Their own fears they made come true. Whatever they took, it was a deception. So they made it happen. That's maybe why they pulled back their energy. Maybe they were, you know, acting like they were bored and discontent and all that stuff. But the truth is, they fulfilled their own prophecy. They're so busy telling Saji what Saji thinks that they started thinking overanalyzing. Mm -hmm. yeah that's the truth spirit saying they want a passionate new beginning with you and they want commitment with you but they sit there holding back holding back they fulfilled their own prophecy and now they want to reach out toward you they might have started treating you like a friends with benefits or just like um, a friend, you know, friend zone you. Why is because whatever they were telling themselves, that's why. Yeah. And now they want to rebirth this love. As above, so below, spirit is saying, they haven't apologized and they're waiting they keep waiting hmm. where it's like oh, they might take this path what's going on what are they going to do Hmm. 
They want to move away from the karmic. That's what they want to do. They've, they're doing something. Uh, the karmic is either doing something behind their back. They're like moving away from that karmic energy. Um, this is reconciliation here. Or they're telling me that the karmic, they're moving away from the karmic because the karmic was hiding things behind their back. They want to separate and they sit here feeling trapped in their mind. I'm telling you that That's why they're spying on you. All right. Seeing if you have other options. Checking you out, you know. Um, it's almost as if this emperor is looking at, you know, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. They're not stuck. They're delusional. They want to come rushing in, I don't know, to work on things. I told you, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that they made happen. It's like the same energy. So it's validating the read that this person sat here, uh, self-fulfilled their own prophecy. Whatever it was that they told themselves, to me, yeah, there is some injustice and they fulfilled their own prophecy. They knew that if they, okay, for example, if this person went out and was being a player somewhere else, okay, and maybe they were giving to another energy that fulfilled their own prophecy. They probably told themselves, well, if I'm going to cheat on Sagittarius or if I lie to Sagittarius, I, that'll be the end of our relationship. They had to test that. And sure enough, that's what happened. But also, it's that they made the tower fall by their own fears, by their own feelings, uh, whatever they live in this land of, I'm trapped. Okay? Yeah. So now they're soul searching, okay? And they did avoid it, telling the truth. They did not want to tell the truth. They did not want to tell the truth. They avoided it. Because they're in their ego. So it's like they couldn't be honest with you because they resisted the truth. Yeah. Why? Because they were thinking um, that they're going to have this big drama fast. Now they want to heal things. And now they're thinking um, that they don't trust this karmic energy. They're feeling foolish for going toward uh, someone who they didn't trust in the first place. So their intuition told them about this third party not to trust them. There's something fishy going on here. So indeed, the karmic energy lied to them about something. Uh, trick them somehow, use mental frickery, I don't know, uh, confuse them somehow, and it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. So likely this person told themselves, well, this third party is not good for me. I know I shouldn't do it. I know how it's going to end up if I go there. They were telling themselves I'm falling into a trap. They knew it. But they acted on it anyway, and they fulfilled their own prophecy. They lost the love of their life, 
over someone who is lying and manipulating. And now they want to come forward towards Sag and they're hoping you're going to have a second look at them. That's what they're hoping. You're going forward, but they're hoping you're going to have a second look at them. Okay? So it's a self-fulfilling prophecy indeed. Whatever this person's, we're not inside their heads, but I can get pretty close and I can tell you that this person already knew what the end result was going to be. They already knew that if they did what they did, that it's likely going to end the situation with Saj, which they didn't want to see happen anyway. And then because they were in their ego, they did it anyway, pushing buttons. It backfired on them. It exploded. So now they're sitting there wanting come, to come toward their partner. I don't know. The person's in their ego. That's why they didn't apologize. Because likely Saj would have said, you know, something online like, I told you so. Or something like, I knew you were cheating. I knew you were. Why didn't you just tell the truth? And this person is like, because they didn't want to admit that they're like that. And they are like that. Okay? So, they fulfilled their own prophecy. They knew what was going to happen if they did what they did. It happened. And now they're stuck or at least they're feeling stuck in a situation that they don't even want to be in. Why are they there? Because of ego. Like I said, maybe they don't want to hear, I told you so, or other people around them saying, I told you so. I don't know, this person wants to come back in. They're still in love with you. But their pride and their ego is in the way. Maybe this person can't say I'm wrong. Maybe this person doesn't want people to say I told you so. But they made their worst nightmare come true. They didn't want it to happen. They were quite content with Saj and in love with Saj. But it's like they had to push that button that they weren't supposed to push. They did it anyway, and now they're regretting their choice. They're sad, they're miserable, they're in self-pity, and they're doing the blame game, blaming the karmic for everything. Well, the karmic is responsible for their actions, but had they not gone that route, they wouldn't have had to figure that part out. And so they're like, oh, I'm trapped, uh, whatever their thinking was or is, I'm stuck here now, I can't, I can't tell Saj the truth, I, I, can't, I can't admit the truth. They knew that they were messing up, like they knew it, and they're having a hard time admitting it, but they made it happen. Their brain knew better. Their brain knows better. Their soul knows better. Their spirit knows better. And hmm. yeah, and now they're like putting the blame on the karmic. If it wasn't for her, so if it wasn't for him or her, take it as it resonates. They're sitting there, you lied. You manipulated me. You know what you did. I don't know if they lied about Saj or lied about something else, but it was a lie that this third party energy told them, take it as it resonates, could be friends, family, coworkers. You know, it was a lie. I don't know if it was gossip about Saj or a romantic third party that lied, but someone did. And they're like, I don't know, they must have believed a certain portion of it, 
or they wouldn't have did what they did. And now they it's all been illuminated. And now they're feeling like an idiot. And now they're mad at the karmic energy, whoever it is. Could be a family member, a friend, a romantic person, or someone they worked with. Anybody is whoever interfered in your union. It was a lie. And now they got to swallow crow. And it's a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> there was a lie. Something about being blocked. Maybe the karmic blocked you somehow or created this wedge, which they did. It was a lie. Whatever they told this person was a lie. And now they're feeling trapped, lied to, manipulated, mind fucked, feeling sorry for themselves, like self-pity mode. And uh, instead of taking responsibility for their own personal choice that they did, they're in blame mode still. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is developing. Take care, beautiful Sag.